Welcome to Pharma Guideline. In today's video, we are diving deep into the validation of water for injection (WFI) loop systems, a critical aspect of sterile manufacturing. We'll explain what a WFI loop is, why validation is crucial, and the exact steps you must follow to ensure compliance with EU GMP, US FDA, and WHO standards. Let's begin. What is a WFI loop? Water for injection is the purest form of water used in pharmaceutical manufacturing, especially for sterile products. It's produced by distillation or other validated methods like multi-effect distillation or vapor compression. But producing WFI is only the first step. The water must be stored, circulated, and delivered through a WFI loop, that is a closed, continuous piping system designed to maintain its quality. This loop usually includes storage tanks, heat exchangers or sanitization systems, pumps, distribution pipelines with sanitary design, use points with valves or user outlets. The loop must prevent contamination, biofilm formation, and maintain microbiological, chemical, and particulate purity at all times. Why WFI loop validation is critical? Validation of the WFI loop ensures that the water consistently meets pharmacopial specifications. The loop design prevents microbial growth. Sanitization and maintenance are effective. All critical parameters, temperature, TOC, conductivity, and bioburden, remain within acceptable limits. WFI is directly used in parenteral formulations, cleaning of equipment, and sterile environments, so any deviation can lead to batch failure, product recalls, or regulatory action. Regulatory bodies like the FDA, MHRA, and EMA expect documented, science-based validation of WFI systems. Key Phases of WFI Loop Validation Validation of a WFI loop typically involves three qualification stages, IQ, OQ, and PQ. First Installation Qualification It verifies equipment installation matches design specs. Confirm materials of construction, ILK 316 LSS. Ensure proper welding, passivation, slope, and drainability in tanks and pipes. Documentation, P and ID diagrams, welding records, slope verification are necessary to complete. Second Operational Qualification Check system controls, alarms, and instrumentation. Validate sanitization procedures, thermal or chemical. Test TOC analyzers, conductivity meters, temperature sensors. Verify recirculation rates and heat retention. Third Performance Qualification Conduct sampling over 30 consecutive days. Analyze WFI at multiple use points. Parameters to verify during PQR. Microbial count, it should be less than 10 CFU per 100 ml or as per pharmacopoeia. Conductivity, it should be less than 1.3 microsiemens per centimeter at 25 degrees Celsius. TOC, it should be less than 500 ppb. Endotoxins, it should be less than 0.25 EU per ml. Sampling must represent worst-case scenarios, including first draw of the day, stagnant points, and low-use outlets. Sanitization and maintenance. A validated loop must also include a robust sanitization strategy. Common methods. Hot water sanitization, 80 to 85 degrees Celsius, Recirculating hot WFI periodically. Chemical sanitization using ozone or other agents, followed by rinsing. Periodic sanitization schedules must be defined. The loop should be designed for zero dead legs, less than 1.5 times the pipe diameter. Use of sanitary diaphragm valves, orbital welds, and electropolished surfaces reduces contamination risk. 
Maintenance includes annual calibration of instruments. Checking integrity of heat exchangers and filters. Repassivation if required. Documentation and life cycle approach. Validation isn't just a one-time activity, it's part of the pharmaceutical validation life cycle. Maintain all records, protocols, raw data, test results, deviations, and final reports. Conduct periodic requalification. Any changes to the system, like replacing a pump or valve, should undergo change control and impact assessment. Following ICHQ9, Quality Risk Management, and Q10, Pharmaceutical Quality System, guidelines will help ensure life cycle compliance. To sum it up, a validated WFI loop is essential for ensuring product sterility, regulatory compliance, and patient safety. Whether you are designing a new loop or assessing an existing one, use a science-based, risk-based approach that covers qualification, sampling, sanitization, and monitoring. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to Pharma Guideline, and share with your quality and engineering teams. Comment below if you'd like a checklist or sample validation protocol and visit pharmaguideline.com for more compliance tools and GMP courses. Join channel membership to get member-specific videos and courses.